All right, Jim. Uh, you have a biggest reno mistakes. Little, I'm not going to call it a checklist, but a one through five. Are you willing to go through these with me? And do you even remember writing these? <laughs> <laughs> There's a million of them, so I might remember some. <laughs> See, we can find lots of stuff, right? And uh, that's what I love about this when we're doing our homework. <laughs> and with you, it's so easy because there's so much stuff out there about you. But that just says One that of your biggest rental mistakes is, you know what is? What is it? Watching TV. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> Actually, we have to tell everybody, before we came on air, of course, we were talking about that where... Uh, you know, there's a lot of shows that um, embellish a little bit and might not be portraying the truth. Uh, but certainly, I have to say that with your shows, um, that is something that I used to just love about you, is you really told it like it like it was, or you tell it like it is. That's well, your approach. You know what? I mean, it's <laughs> funny when we were asked to do the show. I mean, that's... That's, you know, that's what, when they came and asked me, I said, look, I'll, I'm more than happy to do it. Yeah. But the industry is so messed up. People need to understand what we go through to get them sure. what they need and, yeah. and what they put us through. And, you know, we all agreed that that's the way it would be. And, and you know, what Real Renos was, I think we were probably one of the first. For sure you were. First shows coming out. And and the networks were a little different back then. And we could get away with a little more. Yeah. Well, and, and, and it was cutting edge. Yeah. I mean, how long ago was that now? In I terms think of we aired in, aired in 2001. See, there you so go. So we shot in 2000 and aired in 2001, yeah. And it was real. <laughs> it was, oh, it was real as it could get. I mean, you couldn't get it anymore. <laughs> I love it when they would pan on you and you'd give your synopsis of the kind of the, the, the uh, trail of events. And, of course, then you'd get the homeowners. And I thought, there's no way this could be scripted. <laughs> Not in a million years. <laughs> Even the producer said, she goes, I could never have casted this show. Well, I think we need to do it again. So we love need to, to do figure that out. I, I, I think we need to get our heads together here. I'm looking at all my you know crew. And <laughs> we need to get uh, Jim back on air here. And, and we need to get uh, that show rocking. So we'll have to talk about about that. All right, let's talk about these biggest right. reno mistakes for all our viewers and listeners out there. So number one, Jim, not appreciating a house has a unique DNA. So every home is different. Right. So when we're talking about, let's say, a modern home, the last thing you want to do is be putting crown molding on it. Right. So a modern home is, I mean, clean lines, straight lines. It's not, you know, you're not going to have all your fancy crown molding in your, you know, your fancy, you know, casings with back bands and the high eight inch baseboards. It's all, I mean, like if... Understand what you want. Understand mm. what you're going to build. You know, you want something classic, you want something traditional, or you want something modern or contemporary. Now, Jim, is there now, a You can mix. Yeah, yeah, you know what? You see more and more of it happening, right? I mean, Where they're I going just, too I just, far. Well, some are going too far, but yeah. some are done very nicely. Beautiful. We just finished one in Oakville where, you know, we used a lot of the uh, the wood siding on the exterior, but the windows were big, but, you know, very thin mullions. And, yes. Um, and then inside was very clean. And it, I mean, it looked beautiful um but again just understand what you're getting in and, and try to you know focus on what you want to do all right how about number two believing that good big windows don't matter is a mistake yeah windows make a house always have yeah. always will and it's the face it's the face yeah. and again you know what doing a modern contemporary looking house you get a you get a window that's very slim line and you know again thinner mullions now, on a traditional house, of course, you want the you know the mutton bars, you want the the big um, brick molds mm-hmm. and everything else, and as big as you can make it. Now, some windows are too big, right, and some are too small. So again, this is where an architect designer comes in and helps you with with that at the beginning, and understanding the right shapes. Oh, yeah. This is you, where I find people kind of miss the mark, uh, just from an aesthetic point of view, because that curb appeal, Jim, is just as important as when you walk in so that front it's door. It's the first thing you see. It's everything you see. Right? Yeah. First you impression, know. right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Number three, you renovate too much. I don't, I can't believe you're saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Isn't that what you do? <laughs> okay. Where are you going with that? <laughs> um, again, you know what? I mean, it just, you can get overboard and go so far that it doesn't make any sense right. anymore. Just tear the house down. Okay. Yeah. Right. I yeah, mean, it's time. It's time, right? Because yeah. you're, you're putting good money to bad. And and here's another you know this is another thing that I that I will that I that I talk to the the clients about when we're when we're at that point you know of renovating and then I can see it's you know we're going to be end up end up with one wall standing and everything else and I said okay so understand when you go to sell your house this is not a new house it's Good a renovated point. it's a renovated yep. house so the numbers will change so to spend if you want to spend a little more again not saying that you you have to or you can afford it but if you did 
and we tore the house down, sure, you know, setbacks and all that are going to be different. Right. But now you have a new house. Everything is new. Is new. And you can Basement. say so. And you can say so. Yeah. And you will get more money for it. Great point, Jim, because a lot of people out there use that term. New is just what I call the gray area. And uh, a lot of people use it and shouldn't when they're referencing the age of the home. They'll say new or like new, but that is very misused. And people mm-hmm. have a misconception right away thinking that it is a new home. Like I'm putting my house up for sale in the next you know, couple months. Right. It's six years old. I can't say it's a no, new house. No, you cannot. Absolutely. It's a newer yeah. But it's it's not a new house. It's six years old. It's six years old. <laughs> yeah, and then there is that window, right? I mean, what sure. is the window? A couple yeah. years? Well, I'll tell you something. You know the answer to this, Jim, because I know people that have 20-year-old you know, old homes that are in better condition than some people's eight-year-old homes. True. And it's all about how one maintains it. Yep. Right? For sure. Okay. Yep. Number four, you have no idea why you're renovating. Do, do people just call you because they like you and what the heck? I mean, is that what happens? No, I think, I think that's where the TV shows come in, right? <laughs> Thanks to that, yeah, the whole new know. industry has just gone crazy. Yeah. yeah. No, again, you know what? Just Yeah, I mean, you mm. walk in there. And I think, again, understand before you call a contractor what you want to renovate. Don't just have me come in or any contractor come in and just say, what would you do with the house? Like, give me your ideas. No, you've asked me in. I, you know, if I'm the contractor coming in, I'm hoping that I'm going to have maybe a scope of work or something that you a wish want. list that they'll have. A wish list yeah. so I can price it out. But if you're just throwing out here, what would you do at the house? You know, we I would don't call have a that budget. a free consultation. Pretty much, right? <laughs> and then you know, they never do anything anyway. Right. So so be ready. Be ready. Be do your homework. Yeah. You know, go on. You know. Whatever you got to do, Google. There's just so much. There's so much you can, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, good point. I like that. Number five, not enjoying the process of renovation. What do you mean by that? Well, again, you've watched the show, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, and I've renovated lots. Understand what you're going in. Understand yeah. going in what you're, what, how realistic that, that this thing is going to be. Your house is going to be torn apart. If you're going to stay in it, you know, when we're renovating your kitchen or your bathroom, there is going to be Upheaval. dust. It, yeah, it's yeah. N- you're not going to be happy. So move out. Or at least know this is what's going to happen. And don't treat the guys like hell. Yeah. You know, they're just there to do a job. They don't want to be in your house either. They want to get in and get out and, you know, get on with it. You now, get far I mean, more with sugar than spice. Right. Right. You know, and if you offer the guys a cup of coffee once in a while... It Beautiful. goes a long way. Yeah, it does. Barbecues know. are awesome, too. Very just good. A, just a thought. Easy outside and uh, very much appreciated. Very I much. I like it. So let's talk more about the Carrot Group. Okay. So you've got a very successful company. You've done a lot of builds. You've helped to shape the city. I mean, cityscape when we're talking <laughs> about the GTA. <laughs> Gee, that's but nice. <laughs> you jumped up to, Miss, you know, to the Muskoka neck of the woods as well, didn't you? Yes, we're uh, now you there. You contain on... yourself. You had to come. I, you know what? I always wanted to get up in yeah, there. But, it, I mean, it's, a tough, it's tough to get in there. For sure. Oh, yeah, you know, because oh, yeah. those guys don't want the city boys coming oh, up, right? heaven forbid. No, no. Oh, I mean, no. I've been up there my whole life, and I'm still not a local. I'm okay with that. But yeah. uh, no, no, they remind you you're not a local. You're not a local. <laughs> but uh, you know what? I'm on my third build up there now yep. on uh, on Big Wind Island. And, you know, it's great. It's been a learning experience for sure. Right. Uh, I've got to, got to work with, uh, I've got, you know, my three, I got my electrician, my plumber, and... Um, and my HVAC people from up there, and then I use a couple of contractors up there. Um, but I also still bring up my guys for the finishing and that. So it's 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 worked out. You love it. Yeah, you and know you what? Still it's still love it's, it. I mean, that's the key right now. Yeah, you, you know what? what you yeah, we do because we um, a designer friend of mine, uh, Greg. He uh, he helped design the um, we call them the Julianas up on up on Big One, and they you know what they turned out. Really, really neat. Yeah. Well, your work is spectacular. So, how, well, how can people you. see more? I mean, they can go to your website. They can go to our website. Yeah, caregroup dot com. Okay. And um, yeah, you know what? And if they want to call you for that free consultation, <laughs> just, I had to throw that out there, Jim. Just I'm call. Sorry. Yeah, they're always free. The free estimate. <laughs> there you go. Free estimate. So, how can they reach you? <laughs> um, at, just go on the web. Okay, so that's the best way. Yeah, right? yeah. Yep, it's easy. So, caregroup dot com. Oh, yep. Excellent. And we'll make sure that we post that on our Facebook page. We'll tweet that out as well. And of course, we've already talked about this. We are certainly going to make sure that we come to one of your locations. So That'd we're going to do a remote and uh, see you and your company in action. And I congratulate you on your success. And I'm telling you, we are going to get you back on TV. That would be great. That would be great. Thanks for joining. Thank you. So remember, everybody, if you got questions for Jim, you can also reach out to us. So realestatetalkshow.ca, or you can call our help desk anytime at 844-ASK-RETS. That's 844-ASK-RETS.